it's Heather with another episode of What's the 411. Today we're going to unpack the Indoor Smoker by Hammaker Schlemmer. Now, if you were one a few years ago that had the Presto Indoor Smoker, um, the one that was recalled, and you've been searching for a replacement, this episode is for you because the Indoor Smoker by Hamburger Schlemmer works exactly like the old Presto did without all the problems that got that product recalled. So spend some time with me and watch this episode because I think you will really be pleased, as pleased as I am with the product. Um, so I'm going to unpack some things that you need to know about our indoor smoker here. And if you've been watching with me now for the last three episodes, you know that I am not going to be doing a cooking demo, but I am going to hit you to some things that you need to know um, to get the most out of this smoker and um, also give you some tips if you are thinking about purchasing it, the things that you need to know but never even knew to ask. So let's get started by um, first uh, orienting ourselves with the Indoor Smoker by Hamburger Schlemmer. So the first thing I want you to know is that this lid is glass. Um, it's not heavy, but it's solidly built. And you'll notice these two little stoppers here that I'm kind of putting my hand on. You want to make sure um, when you're ready to smoke that um, these stoppers are in place, uh, like shown here, um, because um, that's... Uh, what's going to actually create the seal for you and ensure that the smoke stays in your actual smoker and doesn't uh, uh, escape. Now I will tell you right off the bat that a little bit of it will escape naturally and then it's gonna stop. Um, so you will get, uh, you will see a little bit of smoke escape, but it's not gonna fill your entire house um, with smoke. You're not gonna have your house smelling like hickory or mesquite, um, although I think it's a great smell. But, um, you know, you don't have to worry about that. Um, but you will see a little escape. And if that, even that um, is a little too much for you, um, what you can do is you can place this um, under your um, vent fan or near your vent fan um, and and that'll um, dis you know dissuade any any smoke or but um, you're really not gonna have um, a whole lot it is really truly designed to be used indoors um, which is one of the things that really um, attracted me to it um, so that's what you need to know about the lid. So just make sure that these um, stoppers are in um, like so, nice and tight, because um, that's what's going to create your seal. Now, inside the smoker here, and I'm just going to tilt it so you can see. Uh, in this area right here is where you're actually going to put um, your chips. And I have a bag of chips here that I'm going to show you. Um, but you'll notice, uh, this interior is, and if you could really feel it, you could really feel that it is coated, um, with, um, a, a non-stick, um, I believe, because there's not, uh, anything that has really been able to stick to it. But uh, these are pieces, um, any of the pieces that I'm gonna show you, including the lid, um, of course, not this. You don't want to put them in the dishwasher whatsoever. Um, to clean it, um, 
And once it's cooled off and everything, you just want to, you know, wipe the inside. Um, I put a little um, soap and water on a, on a cloth and just kind of uh, wipe the inside uh, really well. Um, but don't put any pieces of the smoker in the dishwasher at all, okay? And another important uh, piece to the pack up is this is your uh, smoke ring. When you fill it with your, um, when you fill it with the pieces, you're gonna put that in, and then you're gonna put the top here. And it's also metal. I'm just gonna show you so it'll look like that. Um, now I've placed aluminum foil on this um, metal top because um, an important thing that you need to know is that when you are placing your food on these racks, and you get three of them, and they stack one, two, and three. And what's great about this last one is that it has handles. So this one should always go on the bottom and with the other two stacked on top of it because that makes it really easy to remove your food after it's done. Um, but um, that's one thing you should know. Now, this top that I've covered with aluminum foil is what covers your smoking chips. I'll just put it back. So like I said, it's gonna look like this, okay? But what I noticed and what you need to know is that when you place your racks um, in your smoker, and you're always gonna place this one um, first, should be on the bottom, anything that is going to be um, directly um, in front of this top here, that covers the smoke ring is going to cook um, faster than anything else. Um, so without um, covering it, it's going to get darker. Um, so what I would recommend doing is covering uh, this with aluminum foil. That way you don't have to worry about something that you put uh, uh, that's going to be directly over it um, it's not going to cook at a different rate than uh, everything else around it so just consider that just place a simple piece of aluminum foil over it and it'll c can contain the heat for you and even it out so that everything um, cooks at the same rate and you don't have um, say a darker hamburger uh, while everything else is is like perfect. So just keep that in mind. Um, another thing that you want to uh, do, see how it sits down in there. That's what you want. Okay. Is um, sorry, I'm gonna move it here a little bit closer makes it a little easier for me what you also want to consider is that right before you begin smoking you want to put uh, one cup of water in the bottom of the smoker um, when you are using combined smoke or hot smoke and I should um, step back a bit and tell you that in your little function grid, you have combined smoke, hot smoke, cold smoke, timer, start and stop. So it's really easy to use. And again, when this is um, plugged in, it lights up and it's very easy to read and, um, and utilize. Um, so um, what is combined smoke? Combined smoke is going to utilize both hot and cold uh, smoke in your cycle. 
So it's literally going to use a combination of the two in your food. Um, and typically what that means is for the first uh, 30 minutes of your cycle, it's going to be um, cold smoking it. Okay. And then, and then for the last 70% uh, of your cycle, it's going to be hot smoking it. What would you use that for? That's probably what you're asking. It's like, Heather, what's the, what's the deal on that? If you have a uh, larger cut of meat or you just want to really impart a strong smoke flavor, use combined smoke. Like if I'm doing um, uh, ribs, you know, um, like I did a, a, a pork tenderloin a while back. I used combined smoke because I really wanted it to to uh, impart throughout. So if you really want a strong smoke flavor in whatever you're smoking, use combined smoke. Um, hot smoke um, is actually going to cook your food while it is imparting um, the smoke flavor. Um, so like uh, if you just are doing like hamburger patties, hot dogs, um, and you don't want to combine smoke, you just want hot smoke. Um, maybe, you know, you, you like the smoke flavor and you, you need it to be cooked, but you don't want it really, really heavy, but you, you know, you still want it prominent. Use hot smoke. Um, cold smoke is... Uh, for use when you want to impart a smoke flavor to something, but not necessarily cook it. Like for instance, um, say I want to smoke some cheese and I want to impart some mesquite or I've got like some whiskey chips here. And so I want to impart a nice whiskey flavor to my cheese. I'm going to use cold smoke. Or maybe I have um, um, some nuts or something that I want to impart a mesquite flavor to um, things of that nature. So cold smoke is going to impart the smoke to your food without cooking it. Um, combined smoke is going to um, cook it um, and uh, and impart cold smoke at the same time so you get a very intense smoke flavor and your hot smoke is just going to give you a, a standalone hot smoke classic old-fashioned um, smoking flavor okay and then for your timer here you can um, smoke something for up to six hours uh, which is great for an indoor smoker okay i think um, now another uh, question that i get a lot is how do you clean this? Well, like I said, I will put, uh, you know, uh, some water and a little bit of soap on a clean washcloth, you know, dish towel, dish rag, whatever you want to call it, and um, go in the inside and just, um, you know, clean it out and then dry it. Now you do have to uh, wait a bit, you know, do allow your smoker to cool because um, it does get hot. <laughs> and, um, you know, just for safety sake, you wanna give, um, I mean, I have friends that will wait a full 24 hours. Um, I usually give mine a couple hours um, before emptying out the, um, the uh, smoke um, filter and what I'll do is typically once I know it's it's cooled down is I will get a separate bowl and line it with um, a plastic bag um, and then um, I will uh, kind of take the lid off um, and I taking the little small uh, lid and then just kind of uh, slowly dump 
the cooled off chips into the bag and then I will run some water over the bag just to make sure because you want to make sure that um, there are no sparks or anything that could ignite in your trash can and then I will um, go ahead and tie up that bag and then dispose of it so that's the way I do it um, and I've not had any problems um, with it um, at all so another uh, note that I would have is that when you are um, preparing to place your food on the racks I would recommend um, spraying them with oil or even if you don't have like I I use an Evo sprayer and I just will spray my racks and then I'll take a napkin and just kind of go through each um, rung to make sure that um, they're properly coated because it helps um, um, you know prevent your food from sticking or any residue from sticking while it's smoking um, so that's just another um, tip that I have for you um, now this particular smoker uses wood chips okay smoking chips um, not pellets that's what um, Hammaker Schlemmer recommends um, and you can actually purchase them everywhere. Walmart sells them. Um, this one I ordered actually from Amazon and you can get all different types of flavors. This one happens to be whiskey, but you can get your you know traditional mesquite, hickory, apple. Um, there's just a whole plethora to choose from and it's, and it's you know pretty reasonable. Uh, also, one thing to know is that um, there's no real set amount that you need uh, to place in the little cup. Um, you just want to make sure that you don't place so much that the um, the little uh, stopper aluminum that I've covered with aluminum um, can actually, you know, fully cover it. Um, but there's no set amount that it needs to be now obviously if you're smoking for six hours you want to you know put a good amount of chips in there so that you know you'll have a sustained um smoke for six hours um but there's no set uh amount so but do uh, you know keep abreast of the time obviously like I said if you're smoking for six hours you, you you can put a good good amount in there you know just like I said make sure that you can actually close it <laughs> but um, but definitely um, you know consider that consider the time when uh, considering how much wood chips to actually put in also um, you do not need to wet um, your chips before you place them inside the smoker. In fact, Hamburger Schlemmer um, does not recommend that you do that. Um, there's no need to do that. It's going to um, smoke up just fine dry. So you put your chips in dry. Okay. Um, one important note as well when smoking, when you are using cold smoke, you do not need to put um, a cup of water in the bottom of your smoker. Um, and what I mean bottom, I shouldn't say bottom, but within the smoker itself, you just want to um, add in um, add in a cup of water if you are using hot smoke or combined smoke but for cold smoke you don't need the water okay so just keep that in mind no water for cold smoke one cup of water for combined smoke 
or hot smoke. Okay. Now, another important um, point I want to make is that Hamburger Schlemmer, um, in their instruction guide, just gives you a basic introduction to the product and what each one of these functions uh, does and use for. But if you were someone like me who um, had never smoked anything before, they're not going to give you any recipes or timings. Um, so I just want you to be aware of that. It's, it's really basic. It's just going to tell you how to operate it and how to clean it. Um, however, as I said in the opening, this model works exactly like the old Presto did. So if you're an old Presto indoor uh, electric smoker owner, um, it literally works the same way. And even if you've never, never owned the Presto indoor electric smoker online, you can actually download the instructions for that Presto indoor smoker. And that's what I did because what I really appreciated about these instructions is that they provided you with timing. Now you probably can't see that, but um, just so that you know, for instance, I'm just gonna read uh, some off here. For uh, beef brisket, if it's three to four pounds, you wanna smoke it for five to six hours and um, use the combined smoke or combo smoke setting and you want to cook it to an internal temperature of 190 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. And another important point is before you smoke something, you want to make sure your food is thawed. So you don't want to put like frozen a frozen brisket in here, frozen chicken, things of that nature. You want to make sure that your food is completely thawed before smoking it. So if that means you take it out and you've got to, you know, run it through the microwave, if it's frozen solid before doing it, definitely do that. But do not put frozen food in your smoker. Okay. Um, and then like, for instance, here for, um, ribs uh, pork ribs that are three to four pounds you want to smoke them for three to four hours um, and use again combined smoke and you want an internal food temperature of 180 to 185 degrees fahrenheit okay so these instructions even though they're for the presto that was recalled work for this machine because again it's it's if i dare say modeled after the old presto okay so it's definitely worth um all i did was google you know presto electric smoker instructions and uh downloaded it and printed it out and it's worked fabulously so if you're one that you're like okay heather um I'm sold on the smoker, but I've never smoked before in my life. What do I do? How long do I do? Um, this has been a godsend. Now, one thing I will tell you is that this particular model doesn't have a temperature probe. So as you're smoking, you're like, oh my God, you know, I don't know what temperature my food's at right now. Um, What I would recommend is using a thermometer probe, okay? This is one that I just got. It's a Curtis Stone model that I purchased off of HSN, um, which I would highly recommend. Um, you don't necessarily have to get this one, but it's a great one. Um, 
And uh, when I bought it, it was less than 20 bucks. It was actually on sale. I think it was like uh, 15 bucks tax. It's probably a little more now, but no more than like 20 bucks really. Um, and it's great because like, for instance, if you know that you want your hamburgers well done, you want to know what your internal temperature is, you can go ahead and, um, you know, stick it into your little hamburger patty and it's going to tell you that it's, whether it's at 160 degrees Fahrenheit or not. So that's just another thing that, you know, if you're concerned about, I don't know what temperature it is, um, because it doesn't, um, tell you that, um, you know, invest in one of these they are not that expensive. Um, and you can get them all over the place. Um, Amazon sells them. Like I said, I got this one from HSN, um, Walmart. So, you know, they're readily available. So you might want to invest in, in one of those. Um, and the smoking chips are really easy to come by as well. Um, these I purchased um, from Amazon. They're whiskey um, flavored, made from whiskey barrels. Um, but again, you can find them at Walmart, um, you know, all over Home Depot, you name it. Um, but, um, most of mine, I, I tell you, I'll order from Amazon and, and they have, you know, all the traditional ones too, like Mesquite, Hickory, um, Apple, things of that nature. So, um, it makes it really easy to utilize another uh point that i think is really important is that hammerker schlemmer um really stands behind their product um they really have a lifetime guarantee on it so if you purchase it from them and decide you know what this really isn't for me you can return it um with a full for a full refund um or if you ever have a problem with it you can exchange it uh, their customer service is really great. Um, uh, they're really uh, nice, kind, and knowledgeable. Um, one thing I will tell you, though, is that if you've had your smoker for uh, a year or more, um, you can still take advantage of their lifetime guarantee um, for, you know, you can exchange it or... Even if you decide, no, it's not for me, um, I want a refund, they will give you a store credit after a year, okay? But they really do stand behind their product. And um, so that should give you some confidence uh, in your buying decision. But um, overall, it's a, it's a fabulous smoker. Um, one thing too, um, and I just want to reiterate this. If you um, are one that's real sensitive to smoke, um, you will um, experience a little bit of smoke coming out, even if you have these in. That's normal. But if you're real sensitive, um, you can actually place this. Um, obviously not when you're when your stove is on but you can place this on your stove under your exhaust vent and that will alleviate all smoke um you know uh, in your air but um i just want to reiterate that it's not going to you know fill your whole house with smoke um so you know, you can rest assured with regard to that. But if you are uh, particularly sensitive, then yeah, um, place it on your stove under the exhaust vent. Um, obviously not when your stove is on and um, your, um, your hood vent will pick up any of the remaining, but it's, it's really a fabulous product. So that is a 411 on the indoor smoker by Hamburger Schlemmer. So I hope that you found the information useful. 
And should you have any other questions or comments about the product, um, place them in the comment section and I will definitely um, respond and address them uh, with as much knowledge as I have. And I just really, really thank you and appreciate you for checking out the channel. And please like and subscribe um, if you found the information helpful. And have a blessed day.